90,000 more families are due to transition to universal credit. In this together. All in this together. Together. The highest number of homes. I'm Kyle Lewis, I'm the founder and director of Make a Stand Movement in Cardiff. I wanted a movement that kind of involved everybody, so every man, woman, child, race, religion, and everyone in between. I wanted somewhere that we could all follow, just kind of progress as a society, as a community together, with just one rule, which is no harm, no loss to people, property, or the planet. We first started this back in 2015 to 2016, and we were pretty much laughed out of every store. I think after a year of persisting, they've, they've changed their approach completely. Um, they're very supportive now. All year round, we've never missed an event yet, depending on the weather or anything that's being thrown at us. The homeless situation, I think, is a personal responsibility for all of us in the community to do something about it if the government are failing. My personal drive to do it was I had a friend that was homeless. He unfortunately OD'd and passed away. and. Uh, he was very young at the time, he was a lovely lad, he had a couple of uh, home troubles basically. I don't want to go into too much detail, but he needed, uh, he needed some support, he didn't get the support he needed, and it ended tragically for him. I think we need a system that um, actually supports and benefits them to get off the streets. I don't believe you can ever find a, a cure for homelessness. There's always going to be um, family tragedies or financial stress that are going to put people onto the streets. But we need a support network to get them off and to get them back into the site. They may be educated, uh, housed back so they can live a normal life and be part of the community again. The homeless situation is never going to end. The, the things that are driving it, I think, is the society, the corruption, for instance, benefit cuts. The money and our energy are going towards the wrong people, and we're not supporting vulnerable people in society, which we have more than enough money to do so. Two years ago, I spent my life saving me on setting this movement up. I think to the day I die, I'll put every penny I've got into it. By criminalising them and treating them as the problem, and not a cause of the problem, is our biggest issue.